Our reaction to the Stake and Williams F1 car launches. First and foremost, we're going to start with Williams because they started at the first part of the day. So they deserve our first thoughts. And that is exactly where we're going to start. Turn the light on. History in the making. It's very similar. Yeah. Is it darker blue? It feels uh, slightly dark. That, oh. yeah, there's a lot of black on that. Uh, it's not too much black, no, is there? No. Come on, let's let's put some respect like on the their pin, name. I like they've... the pinstripe in. Oh, they've got a lot more sponsors, which is nice to see. That's a nice looking car. I like it. They've actually painted some of it. Yeah, they have. Looks Big W cool. for Williams. An evolution, I'd say, of the livery from before, which I really liked anyway. And they've just added some sponsors, so I like it. First thoughts on the livery. And for me, a reasonable banger. No, uh, Williams have, have chefed. They've cooked it up. Now, I think it's beautiful. Like, I genuinely, I love the light and the dark blue and how that kind of combines. I, I have seen a bit of confusion with some people seeing renders online and thinking it's blue and black. Yes, there are some bits of black because, of course, they're trying to weight save. But the, the main dark blue area that I think people are getting confused by is dark it's blue dark and not black. Blue. For now. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, very cool. It's essentially like an evolution of last year. Uh, they've got a few new sponsors, which is great to see. Uh, so obviously Williams doing doing well because they've had a very bare looking car sponsor wise for for a while now. But I did really like it last year. This year again, they've done a really good job. It's really nicely styled, looks smart, and they're kind of going for the which well is the PR spin anyway. They're trying to like merge all their histories together with a bit of like navy blue and white overalls and lighter blue and a bit of red and all this kind of stuff um but yeah i think they've done a, a very solid job yeah I, I think it's it's worthy of a lot of praise I, I really like it there's not much i would probably change about it to be honest with you um and obviously the race suits was another talking point because they are pretty much all white with just a, a little bit of blue on the arms uh, and i quite like that as well i think it's quite clean it's quite slick and the drivers will stand out in the car as opposed to, I guess, if they had a dark and light blue overalls, perhaps they didn't, what they wanted to kind of be a little bit more contrasty and, and went for the white. But again, I had, some people were complaining a little bit about it, but of course it's car launches, liveries, everything's subjective to your own opinion. Um, but yeah, I, I personally uh, like the white overalls as well. Another thing that caught a lot of people's attention is uh, one of their new sponsors, which is called Komatsu, which is the surname of the new Haas team principal. And I saw Haas having some banter online about like, why have you got our team principal's name on your car? Um, which is quite funny. But uh, jokes aside, it is good to see that Williams uh, actually have you know some sponsors on the car now because they are moving on up. First question comes in from P1 Patreon member Ruben. How much blue will be left on the car in Bahrain? Now <laughs> that is a big talking point, and I think it'll be the same for the other car that has launched today as well, because we have seen over the last couple of years cars be rolled out in their launches. Oh, that's quite nice. But then they have testing, and then they look at the data and go, right, we need to we need to save every millisecond we can. How much can come off the car? And then they start stripping back little things. And then all of a sudden, there's not as much on the side pods or on the front wing. And that's just the sad state of affairs right now uh, in Formula One. Um, I don't know why, for whatever reason, Formula One haven't gone down the route of making that change so that uh, cars can and teams can be more decorative. Uh, but yes, it is certainly something that is an option for, for all teams. Um, and I just hope it doesn't happen. It probably will. Yeah, probably will. Uh, the the cynic in me is saying that the they've used dark navy blue deliberately because that's the bit that it will look very similar if they just get rid of the <laughs> of, of mm. the navy blue. I know that's something like if you study like the Red Bull and stuff, that's obviously a really dark blue that almost looks black, uh, and you, they can take little bits off of paint off, and you kind of don't even notice that the livery's changed. And that that to me sounds like something that maybe that's what Williams are, are, are going for. I, I hope I'm wrong. it would still fit, it would still fit, I guess, with the Duracell branding as well, because there's black yeah. up there. Yeah, so exactly. I'm not, if you're listening, Williams, we don't want this to happen, but I know we, know, we see what you're doing. We see what you're doing. Right, let's move on to steak now. And they've been, they've been cooking, but only to sort of like medium <laughs> rare, because that's my favorite. with toxic uh, waste. Here we 
we go. Lights out. Be good. Oh. 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 Oh, hello. Greenmeup.com. Go on. More green. More green. Uh, don't tell me that was it. Don't tell me it's only on the nose. More. To be fair, this is a car launch stake. It You're popping off. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, that is bold. Oh, that is oh. cool. Oh! Oh, that's filth! Yeah, that looks great. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, that's that is really very... hot. Oh, yes, that is great. Oh, my God. That is bold. That is what we wanted. Oh, don't make me stand up right now. Oh, that is weird on the side. Oh, that is filth. That looks cool. Oh, they've been chefing. Tommy, you give us your first thoughts. Go on. My first thoughts is stop moaning about uh, a, oh, a livery oh doing something exciting because... I was going to say uh, the only thing I was doing was moaning when that came out. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, no, I, I like it. Um, in a positive way before anyone... In a positive thinks, way. Anyway. Yeah, it is it's bold. Is it garish? Yes. Is it bold? Yes. Does it look a bit cheesy? Yes. Does it look a bit my team garish? Yes, but what's wrong with that? Yes, yes. Like, it's cool. Like, we, we're complaining about there's too much carbon. Haas is a great example that, you know, we're saying that their color palette is white and red. It's so unoriginal and just makes it a bit dull. But you have that pop of color, which is exactly like what McLaren have done. And that looks really cool. Like, black and orange works really well together. Of course, green always divides opinion especially the vibrant green that it is um you know i've seen a lot of people like this this livery i feel like will be people giving it nine and ten out of ten or one or two out of ten but the reality is that it's exciting and boy will it pop when it's 15th wow when it's getting <laughs> lapped we'll see it yeah like, oh that looks good yeah oh, max oh, Verstappen's yeah. Oh, coming yeah, up steak. to a, a stake here that's quite clear to see and to be fair, Max will be able to see them very clearly as well, no matter what the conditions, even in heavy rain. As yeah, it's funny because you were saying about the whole, you know, polarizing opinions of this. Obviously, I tweet mostly about all the car launches at this stage, and um, you have like someone going, oh, "I can't explain it, but I, I like this." You have got someone else saying, "You know, I absolutely love it," and then you've got this green is too ugly. You know, yeah. it's, it's very, yeah, yeah. yeah, one way or the other. But then, you, then you ask yourself, well, what, what, what do you want? What, what would be something that's yeah, I like so clear of an identity, and that's what you want from liveries. Uh, and I'm of the same opinion as you, Tommy. I love it. I think it's great. Um, I think maybe I would change the way in which the green is on the car. I, I, there's some parts of it maybe I'm not so much a fan of where there's a lot of exposed carbon on the side, um, and some of the angles I'm like, meh. Could maybe change it slightly, but overall, I'm not going to get too nitpicky because you know everybody's opinions are, are different and. Uh, I still am very happy with how they've done this because I thought it was going to be minimally green with a lot of black, but they've they've put on more than they needed to, I guess, in some ways, I would say. Uh, <laughs> For and now. that is again, <laughs> yes, that is again, they've gone, oh, social media says there's too much green. Your your wish has been granted. Here you go. Uh, yes. So yeah, it's, you, we can't complain. They, they can't win. Teams can never win. You're not going to please everybody. But I think when we were on Twitch and a lot of people were saying they're a big fan of it. I think it was about a 50-50 split of the poll that we did between Williams and Stake in terms of who they liked more. Uh, but they're both banging liveries. So I would say it's, you know, tomato, yeah. tomato. No, exactly. that's not the... <laughs> I, I think um, <laughs> as well, like, probably I'd dare say that there's probably maybe Visa Cash App if they do something crazy, but I don't think that's going to be... Do you think they will? Mm, yeah, I think... Stick it, an ATM they'll... on the side? Like, you just <laughs> put a... Put a flipping debit well, card. Well, in that's going to be interesting because they've got uh, th from their teaser images, they look like they're going back to the Torosso blue and white. Uh, they've kept the Orland sponsorship, which is obviously the bright red, and Visa Cash App is bright green like steak. So that could be bold. So that that could be crazy, but I think certainly so far, at least as well, like this will be one of the launches that surprises people most. Um, whether you love it or hate it. I'm sure a lot of people's reaction, either good or bad, was, oh, wow, that's something. Yeah. Because we're so used to now seeing livery season, and we all complain, don't we, when the, they launch the livery, and it's exactly the same, and it's like, oh, that was a bit underwhelming. You cannot uh, say that steak hasn't whelmed us. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's solidly whelming. 
At Asher Wynn. Our steak F1 testing all year long for Audi with all that Flovis paint. Good one. <laughs> Although it might actually look even better if they just whack on more flow and then this is just a full green car. Maybe there's maybe there's thinking there. And then how do teams learn what their aero is doing if they can't see it because everything is green? So what this you're is saying big is brain. Steak F1 to win the world championship. Or they confuse themselves and they finish last because they don't know what they're doing. Or that. Or that. The positivity, <laughs> Tommy. You know? The only thing more insane than that livery would be if Stake finish anything higher than about seventh in the Constructors' Championship, to be honest. Like, I don't see how that's going to happen. What are your final thoughts, Mr. Bellingham? My final thoughts are... Well done, Stake, for doing something garish and... Uh, Bright well done, Stake. Good one. That, yeah, very clever. You think you're you think you're smart, don't you? You know. Yeah. Well done. I oh, know. I cooked there. Oh God. Anyway, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching or listening. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, we will be back in a couple of days' time for Alpine, where we will have a three and a half hour conference, uh, followed by a pink and a blue car, and then we'll go. Oh my God. And then that will be the end of that. So we look forward to it, don't we, Tommy? Absolutely. Bring and also on. subscribe to Will Knowledge. Bye! Bye. <laughs>